More and more in the tech world, wired is becoming a dirty word. Every company is pushing wireless as their solution to a more simple life. Fewer cables, less clutter. And while that's great and all, there's a little more to it than just plug it in. In this series, I'll be exploring the different wireless technologies currently available and how to use them. Today we'll be looking at Apple's peer-to-peer -peer technologies, AirPlay, AirDrop, and AirPrint. I'm Jason with Maslin Tech, and welcome to the first part in my new series, Wireless World. Let's get started. AirPlay, first introduced alongside AirPrint in 2010, is Apple's way to push audio and video wirelessly. Several third-party speakers have been AirPlay certified for audio. In iOS 10, you just need to be on the same wireless network the speaker is on. From there, slide up to Control Center and swipe over to the audio controls. Down at the bottom, you'll see the current audio source. Tap on the current source to change it to your AirPlay compatible device. For video, you'll need an Apple TV and a decently uncongested wireless network. Bringing up the control center will give you a button to mirror your device to the Apple TV. Your iPhone or iPad screen will mirror, but apps that support a second screen experience will give separate content for each screen. On the Mac, AirPlay is just as easy. Macs running 10.7 or newer will have the AirPlay icon up in the menu bar. Clicking the icon will let you AirPlay your Mac to your Apple TV. Devices running 10.9 or later will be able to use the Apple TV as a separate display. Some apps, such as iTunes, have a dedicated AirPlay button in them. AirPrint, like AirPlay, doesn't require any additional software installed, but does require a compatible printer. Apple publishes a list of compatible printers on their website, but you can always look for the icon on the box if you're shopping in-store. After getting your printer on the same wireless network as your phone, all you have to do is tap the share button in an app that supports AirPrint, like Notes for example. From the share sheet, tap the print button. Finally, select the printer you want to print to and the number of copies you want to print. On the Mac, just go to System Preferences and then Printers and Scanners. From there, you'll be able to set up your printer by clicking the plus button. More advanced features of some printers, like multi-tray support and scanning, will require a standard printer installation, but basic printing will work over AirPrint. The last big feature, AirDrop, is the one I use the most. AirDrop allows you to copy files from one device to another wirelessly. AirDrop requires both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to be on, but your device does not need to be on a wireless network, so you can use it anywhere. On iOS 10, swipe open Control Center and tap on the AirDrop button. From there, you can set your permissions to limit dropping from only contacts or from everyone. To send files, just open an app that supports AirDrop, like Photos, and select the items you want to share. From the share sheet, available devices will appear. Tap on the device you want to share to and the process will begin. Devices on the same iCloud account will automatically accept incoming files, but the receiver will need to accept files coming from someone else. AirDrop on the Mac is accessed through Finder. Under the Favorites menu in Finder, click on AirDrop and then set the permissions at the bottom. Older Macs have some hardware limitations, so you may need to manually tell your computer to search for them. Once you find the device you want to send files to, Simply drag and drop the files onto the device's icon. On older setups, you'll need to leave the window open for the duration of the transfer, but on newer configurations, transfers will continue as background tasks. AirDrop is extremely helpful when dropping large files like 4K videos from my phone to my Mac. Wired connections still have their purposes, like larger data transfers and low latency displays, but Apple built devices like the 12-inch MacBook and iPad around technologies like AirDrop and AirPlay, and with the right setup, they work wonderfully. Thanks for watching. I'll be releasing the next episode of Wireless World around the launch of the new iPhone. I'll be covering iCloud and the different parts of it, and how to use it best with iOS 10 and macOS Sierra, so be sure to check back for that. Once again, this is Jason with Maslin Tech. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one.